Happy Christmas! Welcome to this Come to Jesus daily devotional on this Christmas day. As we finish our Advent series and there'll be no more devotions until the 15th of January. Sorry about that, I'm just going to take a break. And on the 15th of January, we'll, we'll restart, God willing, resuming our Luke series. And today, we reflect on the truth that to enjoy the gifts of God, we must keep coming to Jesus because we need the supernatural help that only he can give. Let's read from Luke 2, 15 to 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Yesterday we looked at some of the great gifts that God wants us to receive and enjoy. We looked at the promise of less fear, good news that gives great joy, assurance of salvation and peace and favour. God wants us to know and experience these things. These things are recorded for our benefit. The experience of the shepherds and others in the story point to how our lives are to be. And today I want us to ask the question, how do I ensure that I'm enjoying and experiencing these things? I think that we can have a number of approaches to the Christian life that can be fulfilling or less fulfilling. I'm going to mention three. Firstly, we presume that God will do all that's necessary for our spiritual health and enjoyment. We receive Jesus as saviour, but then keep him at arm's length. Maybe we go to church infrequently. Maybe we pray and read our Bibles, particularly when times are hard. But we are failing to have a living relationship with him each day. This is very unfulfilling. Such people do not experience the kind of promises that were made to the, to the shepherds. Secondly, we can receive Christ, but believe that true life and true joy are not found in him. And so we fall into sin and compromise. Our lives are displeasing to God as we seek joy away from him. And again, that's a very unfulfilling approach to the Christian life. Thirdly, we can imitate the shepherds and we can imitate Mary who pondered and treasured these things. We can be like the shepherds who listened they listened to God's promise and then they rushed to meet Christ. When God's promise is met with faith, true transformation happens. Firstly, there's personal impact. They glorified and praised God with fresh worship. We read, when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But the shepherds returned glorifying, praising God for all the things they had seen, which were just as they had been told. Like the shepherds, those who go to Christ will return with fresh worship. A true meeting with the Holy Spirit, Spirit will revive our worship. If we are to enjoy the great gifts that God offers, let's go to Christ and be filled with his presence. Secondly, there's community impact. Others were impacted as they spread the word. Again, let me repeat what we read. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Another effect of meeting Jesus was a, a natural sharing of their joy. And it will be 
true for us. If we meet Christ regularly, there'll be a natural overflowing. Our joy in Christ will lead to us sharing about Christ. If we go to Bethlehem and meet Christ, our communities will be affected. The result will be that like them, we will speak about Jesus to others. Today, we've reflected on the truth that to enjoy the gifts of God, we must keep coming to Jesus because we need the supernatural help that only he can give. Happy Christmas and as we go through this season and approach a new year, how will you ensure that you keep going to Bethlehem, keep meeting Christ so as to enjoy and share his gifts? How will you continue to ponder and treasure these things so that you can enjoy and share your joy? God bless you.